Now to a follow-up on our story about Houston's solution to their homeless crisis. They used a housing-first approach to move 25,000 people off the streets over the past 10 years. And the mayor told us most of those people are still in their apartments right now. The idea was to get people into apartments directly from the street without having to go through shelters and without having to be clean and sober. Seems like it's working in a big way. Check it out. Their count of homeless people per 10,000 people went from 21 per 10,000 in 2011 to 7 per 10,000 in 2021. During that same time period, Multnomah County's rate went from 23 people per 10,000 to 63 homeless per 10,000 people. Those numbers nearly tripled in Multnomah County. One viewer, Jen, was thrilled by the Housing First model. Yes, Housing First is an amazing model and we should be utilizing it. The vast majority of housing in Portland is designated clean and sober, she wrote, and that is an important niche, but people not sleeping on concrete are more likely to consider recovery than those suffering outside. Well, Jen, you will be happy to know that our area also has adopted that Housing First model. I had a chance to talk today with Shannon Singleton. She's the interim director for the Joint Office of Homeless Services in the Portland area. In Portland, Housing First looks like both we need to have additional development of new apartments, but it also looks like us moving people in with those types of rent subsidies and the long-term rent subsidies um, into some of those market rate existing apartments. So it's a both and. Um, and I want to be clear that part of, again, the comparison to Houston is their development and ability to add a, a lot of new apartments to the mix is what made their numbers continue to drop year over year. Which leads to our next email question. Kate wrote in to ask a simple question. We still never heard where all those one bedroom apartments came from. Kate's referring to Houston and it's a good question. Kate, thanks for sending it. It appears that they had a surplus of apartments there in Houston when they started their program and probably more available apartments than Portland. The mayor told us though it is getting harder to place people now than earlier in the program because they are running out of apartment space. Singleton with the Joint Office of Homeless Services said in the past nine months, the office here has moved 2,770 people off the streets or out of shelters and into housing in the greater Portland area. And she said her office has supplied us, or her office did supply us, with these stats showing that over the last seven years, nearly 33,000 people were moved into housing. The office warned the numbers are a bit fuzzy because of the way things were tracked. They suggest 10% lower is probably closer to the real total, but it is impressive. And it made me wonder, why are homeless to population per 10,000 people went up when Houston's went down? Remember that? Is it because the local homeless population is growing and there's just not enough available apartments right now? I was hoping for a number, at least an estimated range from Singleton. As you'll see, though, we never got there. I did edit this answer for brevity. Yeah, I was wondering about that myself. And we had some viewers who asked, OK, where are all these apartments going to come from? Do you have any guess of how many available apartments there are? So we, we are both doing uh, with the housing bond development. And I would say, again, all of this has been very intentional over time. Um, part of what we did with the Portland housing bond was to say, we really need a local funding source to build housing for people at our lowest income levels. The market has never solved for zero to 30 a percent of area median income and we don't expect that to suddenly change okay um and but do you have a uh, educated guess on how many available apartments there are in the greater portland area i i don't off the top of my head i would really continue to look at the reports that we see out of the portland housing bureau about the state of housing um in portland and particularly the the cuts that they take around affordability levels um, those are the spaces that um, we can also start to see what is available out there, but frankly, what is our deficit and how do we as a community address the housing development needs? Well, I did take a look at the latest report I could find from the Portland Housing Bureau and, well, it does have a lot of interesting information. It does not estimate the number of available apartments for people who are homeless or even for those who are not homeless. Here's another question from a viewer, Robert. He wanted to know who pays the rent in Houston? Well, Robert, that answer is taxpayers. Some of the money in Houston is local. Some comes from the state, some from the federal government. Same thing in Portland, and it's all taxpayer money. 
By the way, the reason I wanted to know about available apartments here is if we are years away from having enough for those who are now homeless, then in my opinion, we need to be honest about it and move to other options in the meantime. If there is enough space and we just need better coordination between all the groups trying to help, well then that needs to happen immediately. Renters and homeowners are losing patience and they're tired of waiting for distant solutions. That's my opinion anyway. What's your take? You don't have to agree with me, that's fine, but let me know what you're thinking about that. You can send an email to the story at kgw.com or leave a voicemail, 503-226-5090. I look forward to hearing from you.